All right, everybody, welcome back to Junk Wax Investor. Let's take a look at some of the top eBay sales from the Junk Wax era. This week, we made some changes. We're splitting the list up into two separate videos and expanding it to the top 10. So today we're looking at the top 10 basketball and football cards. Criteria for the list and exclusions are up right now. And Wednesday's video will be the top 10 baseball and hockey. I hope you all enjoy this new format. I really liked it because I was able to open it up and get some new cards on the list. Let's jump into it. All right, let's get things rolling with football in the number 10 position. From 1992 Topps Gold, we have the Joe Montana graded a Gem Mint PSA 10. This card sold for $350. This is the third highest sale of this card with the record being $590. And this card has a pop of 71. And you can find boxes of 92 Topps High Number Series for around $85 online. In the number 9 position, from 1990 Action Packed All Madden, we have the Emmett Smith Rookie Card, graded a PSA 10. This card sold for $355. The record for this card is $632 and it has a pop of $105. You can find boxes of 90 Action Packed All Madden for around $50 on eBay. In the number 8 position, from 1991 Wild Card College Draft Picks, we have Brett Favre 100 Stripe Card, graded a PSA 7. This card sold for $504, and there are no other recorded sales of a PSA 7. This card has a pop of 2, and there are 26 graded higher with 9 PSA 10s. Boxes of 91 Wild Card College Draft Picks can be found for around $75. In the number 7 position from 1987 tops, we have Jim Kelly's Rookie Card, graded a PSA 10. This card sold for $525. This is a bit off of the record of $750, and this card has a pop of $376. Boxes of 87 tops have recently sold for around $300. In the number 6 position from 1991 Wild Card, we have the Bo Jackson 1000 Stripe, graded a PSA 8. This card sold for $531. This is a record sale for a PSA 8 with the previous high being $152.50. This card has a pop of 4 and there's only one higher graded PSA 9. Boxes of 91 wild cards sell for around 45 bucks. In the number 5 position from 1991 Top Stadium Club, we have Brett Favre's rookie card graded a Gem Mint PSA 10. This card sold for $600. This is half of the record high of $1,247 from February. This card has a pretty high pop as a 10 with $1,818 and boxes of 91 top stadium clubs sell for around $90. In the number 4 position from 1987 tops, we have Jerry Rice graded a PSA 10. This card sold for $810. This is quite far off of the record high from this card in February of $2,750. And this card in a 10 has a pop of 345 and boxes of 87 tops have sold for around the $300 mark. In number 3 position from 1988 tops, we have Bo Jackson's rookie card graded a PSA 10. This card sold for $997. This is a third of the record of $3,050 from earlier this year. And this card has a pop of 525 and boxes of 88 tops can be found for around $125. In the number two position from 1991 Pro Line Portraits, we have the Bill Belichick Rookie Card Autograph in raw condition, and it sold for $999. These autograph cards were randomly inserted into packs, and you can find boxes of 1991 Pro Line Portraits for around $45 online. And in the number one position from 1990 Score Supplemental, we have Emmett Smith's Rookie Card graded a BCCG 10. This card sold for $1,000. For reference, PSA 10s of this card sell for about double that, and PSA 9s sell for around a fifth of this price, around the $200 mark. Given the reputation of some of the BCCG cards, I don't know if this was a really good buy or not. Sets of 1990 score supplemental can still be found online for around $160. And the total of the top 10 Junk Wax Era football cards last week was $6,671. As you can see from the graph, I'm keeping the totals of the top five from the previous videos, and I'll just carry on with the top tens going forward. However, even with double the cards, this was definitely a very slow week for football, and you can see that prices have came down quite a bit. 
Hello, Junk Wax Investor community. I'm excited to announce a new affiliate partnership that we have with BCW Supplies. You'll save 10% off your next retail order of sports car supplies. Use the link in the description below, and on checkout, use the code JUNKWAX10. All right, moving on to basketball in the number 10 position. From 1992 Topps Archives, with the Michael Jordan card graded a Gem Mint PSA 10. This card sold for $749. The record for this card is $999, and this card has a pop of $330. Boxes of 92 Topps Archives sell for around $165 on eBay. In the number 9 position, from 1992 Upper Deck, we have the Michael Jordan Fanimation card, graded a PSA 10. This card sold for $850. The record for this card is $1,495. This card has a pop of 180 as a PSA 10 and is one of my favorite early 90s Michael Jordan cards. And you can find boxes of 1992 Upper Deck High Series for around $250 to $300. In the number 8 position from 1990 Fleer, we have the Michael Jordan All-Star Sticker Card graded a Gem Mint PSA 10. This card sold for $875. The record for this card is $1,575 and it has a pop of $555. Boxes of 1990 Fleer have recently sold for around $140 online. In the number 7 position from 1993 Top Stadium Club, we have the Penny Hardaway Rookie Card graded a Gem Mint PSA 10. This card sold for $920. This is a record sale for this card with a previous high being $231.50 from February 19th. This card has a low pop of only 15 as a PSA 10. And boxes of 1993 Top Stadium Club Series 2 sell for around $100 online. In the number 6 position from 1992 Top Stadium Club, we have the Shaquille O'Neal Rookie Year Beam Team graded at Mint PSA 9. This card sold for $1,000. This is exactly one third of the record of $3,000 and this card has a pop of 834 with 111 higher graded PSA 10s. Boxes of 92 Stadium Club Series 2 sell for around five to 600 bucks on eBay. In the number five position from 1989 Fleer, we have Michael Jordan graded a PSA 10. This card sold for $1,396. The record is $4,200 from earlier this year, and this card has a pop of 984. Boxes of 89 Fleer sell for around 600 bucks. In the number four position from 1993 Topps Finest, we have Michael Jordan graded a PSA 10. This card sold for $1,749. This is the third highest sale with the record being $2,000. This card has a pop of 420 and boxes of 93 Tops Finest sell for around $800 on eBay. In the number three position from 1993 Fleer Ultra, we have the Michael Jordan Scoring Kings insert graded a mint PSA 9. This card sold for $2,671. The record for this card in a nine is $6,000, and this card has a pop of 200, and there are 96 higher graded PSA 10s. These Scoring Kings inserts were found in Series 1 boxes, and these 93 Ultra boxes sell for around $700 online. In the number 2 position from 1989 Fleer, we have Michael Jordan's All-Star Sticker, graded a PSA 10. This car sold for $3,070. This is off of the record of $4,600, and the sticker in a 10 has a pop of 82. And 89 Fleer boxes can be found for around $600. And in the number one position from 1993 Topps Finest, we have the Michael Jordan Refractor, graded a mint PSA 9. This card sold for $3,873. The record for this card in a 9 is $6,600, and it has a pop of 368, and there are 41 higher graded PSA 10s. Boxes of 93 Topps Finest sell for around $800 on eBay. Total of the top 10 Junk Wax Era basketball cards last week was $17,153. Definitely seen a lot of these cards that came down in the last week or two. And you can tell from the graph with even double the cards, it was still a moderate week and actually below the trend line from when we only had five cards. All right, that's it. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this new format with the top 10. And on Wednesday, I'll be coming out with the baseball and hockey video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and keep collecting.
If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. In addition, hit that bell icon and get notifications so you don't miss out on any of our future great content.